So uh, I never went into labor naturally. It is uh, January 12th. 8.30 a.m. and we're going to the hospital. Um, last night I finally started getting some pretty harsh uh, contractions, but they're still like 20 minutes apart. I probably wouldn't ordinarily go in, but we are scheduled for an induction, so I am going in. I didn't want an induction. Part of me feels like a failure because I wanted to start naturally. So I'm pretty happy that the contractions started on their own. Uh, yesterday I went and had acupuncture. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but we're on our way to the hospital. And now I'm here. So you guys might be thinking, what happened? Where did the rest of the video go? Well, as it turns out, labor is not exactly the most enjoyable experience. So once I got to the hospital, that was the end of documenting my labor. So I am just going to tell you guys uh, about my labor experience and Tommy's birth story. So yep, there you have it. My son's name is Tommy. Big name reveal. So I had the acupuncture on Monday and then Tuesday morning, I actually went into labor. Uh, I had some contractions around 5 a.m., but they were about 20 minutes apart. Now, if you've had a child, you know that at the hospital, they usually want you to wait until your contractions are about five minutes apart. However, I was scheduled for an induction at 8.30 in the morning. Um, Tommy was measuring pretty big and uh, they wanted to make sure that I would be able to birth him vaginally, not have a C-section, not have him get stuck in case his shoulders you know, were too big to fit through the birth canal. So instead of waiting, I went to the hospital at 8.30. Um, between that time is when I shot um, the video you guys just saw in the Jeep. So we went into the hospital and since I was there for an induction, um, they checked me to see where I was. I was one centimeter dilated uh, and you have to wait till you're at 10 to start pushing. So that gives you an idea. And a lot of times they say it's about an hour a centimeter. Um, that's just an estimate. It could take very long or it could take very short. Uh, but since this was an induction, I expected it to be a little bit longer. First, they gave me one dose of Cytotec, which is um, a pill that you take when you are scheduled for an induction. You put them right underneath your lip. And many people go through and they take, you know, four to six doses. And you can only take one dose every four hours. Now, if you were to be induced, you know, at 37 weeks, you might need to take all six doses. Since I was induced, you know, at 41 weeks plus change, I actually only needed that one. So during those four hours, I went from being very comfortable, um, being able to check in on my phone, have conversations, to the most excruciating pain of my life. I'm not gonna lie, it was not what I expected. It was really painful and um, I, I give props to women who have children without painkillers um, because it was the most miserable two hours that I've ever experienced painfully. However, um, I kind of meditated and I've already forgotten about how bad it was. Uh, I just breathed in for a count of six and then I exhaled for a count of six. You can probably hear Tommy in the background, he's sleeping, but he makes noises when he sleeps, so he's fine, don't worry, I'm not neglecting him. So uh, during those four hours, I went from a one all the way to a five. Um, most of the time was spent in a rocking chair going back and forth, and like I said, kind of being in this meditative state, counting in for a count of six and counting out for a count of six. That's all I thought of. Nick tried to help, Nick tried to talk and give me massages, and I wanted nothing to do with him. Um, I just wanted to be by myself. I didn't want anyone to touch me. Uh, finally, when they checked me and I was a five centimeters, I asked for the epidural. Originally, when I found out I was pregnant, I didn't know if I wanted to do an epidural. I thought maybe I would wanna go natural. And uh, the more I learned from you guys, from my viewers, um, the more I thought I might want the epidural. Once I got to the five centimeters, I, I couldn't imagine being in labor, you know, for another eight hours, 10 hours, 24 hours with that much excruciating pain. Um, it just wasn't something I wanted to do. I didn't have the desire to prove that I was strong enough to do it. Sorry, I just didn't care. I cared about my son's health and um, I wanted to make sure that he was delivered um, and he was safe and okay. Once it was in, I could feel my knees, I could bend my knees, I could feel my feet. Um, I didn't feel like I was restricted 
restricted in any way. Um, some people say they wanted to walk around and that's why they didn't want the epidural. To be honest, I was quite content lying in that bed and just being uh, still because before the pain was just so hard. It was, it was not comfortable. So finally I was comfortable. I was in the bed. I picked up my phone. I was texting my friends and I was like, yeah, like once you get the epidural, it's smooth sailing. Um, it's, it felt easy for me. That was about 3.30 and then at seven o'clock I was already at nine centimeters dilated. Since Tommy was big, we decided to let him chill and hang out for a bit just to kind of, you know, stretch and let everything like kind of, oh yeah, really? Are you having a bad dream? Finally at about nine, two hours later, they were like, okay, let's start practicing pushing and stuff like that. Uh, so I pushed for 90 minutes and um, and then Tommy was born. As a first time mom, uh, you really don't know what to expect with pushing. Um, so you push every time you get a contraction and you just kind of, um, it's counterintuitive if you are in the fitness world. So a lot of times when you're lifting, you exhale when you're uh, doing the harder motion. You know, so you like, if you're doing a push up, you exhale on the way up because that's really where you need that extra force. But when you're pushing, you hold your breath. Um, which was something that I didn't realize, or at least at my hospital, that's what they had me doing. So you take a deep breath in and then you push, holding your breath, and then you take a quick, di quick deep breath in again, and then you push again. This solidified for me the importance of working out during pregnancy. Uh, I worked up right up until the end and I really think that it was important that I had that endurance, that I had that stamina to really push during those contractions. I was able to get you know three or four pushes each time. Uh, of course, since I had the epidural, I pushed a little bit longer than somebody might that didn't have the epidural, but still, my contractions were about every five minutes. It wasn't that bad. Um, I had a playlist going, so in my head, this was my workout. It was a workout. It was hard and I, got a healthy baby boy at the end. So nowadays they delay the cord clamping, the cord cutting, and then they put the baby on your stomach and um, Tommy was so strong. He like picked his head up off of my chest and just looked at me and stared at me. And it was the coolest feeling I've ever had. It was the best experience. And it was kind of just like these eyes looking at me being like, oh, so, so you're the voice I've been hearing the past nine months. And um, for me, I looked at him and I was like, so you've been growing in my stomach for the past nine months. It was really weird. And we stayed in the hospital for um, three nights because he was born after 8 p.m. And the hospital was wonderful. MGH was a great hospital to um, go to. The nurses were fabulous, they were so nice. Um, and uh, yeah, Tommy breastfed right away. Uh, we're still breastfeeding. I will do another video on breastfeeding because it is harder than anything I had to go through during labor or during my pregnancy. Breastfeeding is no joke. It is hard, it is painful at first, but it is so good for your children, for the babies, so I'm really trying to stick with it. So that is Tommy's birth story. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. And um, for more details, you can go and check out my blog post over on seraphit.com, link is down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.